subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update cat 2020 is just 6 months away by now you have become a pro at data interpretation and logical reasoning you can write poems about quantitative aptitude but for some of you verbal ability and reading comprehension is a nightmare it's understandable why you are so scared of vrc apparently vrc was toughest in cat 2019 while qa and dilr continued to be intimidating so how does one get over the fear of vrc even better how does one score 99 percentile in vrc this video might help you out here are the six steps that may help you score 99 percentile in vrc for cat 2020 ready got your notepad and pencil let's start tip number 1 focus on accuracy most of you must be currently attempting a few questions of vrc so naturally your focus is on increasing your number of attempts but the strategy to scoring a great percentile in vrc is to focus on accuracy vrc was because i felt i was good at it and so i would attempt every single question and that ended up with me getting a lot of negative so over there i had to work on reducing my risk so i made sure i focus only on the answers that i knew were sure and stop making even calculated guesses your accuracy and your speed in this section is also dependent on the type of topics a familiar topic takes less time to comprehend and unfamiliar topic like philosophy will take a longer time so reading all kinds of editorials news and article is the key to both accuracy and speed which takes us to the next tip tip number 2 read for speed and for verbal section uh, i realize it's i have to speed up uh, while reading uh, passages i have to speed up and uh, for that i started reading articles i started reading uh, the hindu so i read articles on that so that uh, in a way helped me increase my uh, reading speed uh, and that uh, i believe reading speed is really important that was ananta chajar i am amdabad who attempted cat 90 According to an FMS student and a VARC 99.95 percentileer, your reading speed needs to be above 300 words per minute. Are you worried you won't be able to do that? Don't worry. It's okay if you are not an avid reader. This habit can be developed. Read at least 2 to 3 hours a day and try not to lip read. While reading, if you move your lips, if you are trying to sound it out loud, your reading speed goes down substantially. You can amplify your reading ability by reading newspapers every day, specifically the business column and the world news. You can also read from other offline and online resources like Live Mint, The Economist, The New York Times, Eon, e-papers and a lot more. This will help you build your vocabulary and speed reading. Tip number 3, understand the author's intention. VRC is not just about your knowledge in language but also critical thinking. For example, even VARC is not just basic VARC we used to get earlier. It has a lot of critical reasoning to it. So, majority of emphasis I laid on critical reasoning, understanding the critical reasoning, because that is what your entire verbal. While solving RCs, it is also about catching the author's intention in between the lines. Trick to that, according to this VARC 99 plus percent title, is by locating the negation words such as but, however, etc. Second is to understand the question and the intention behind the question. Often we have the habit of marking answers that are obvious and universal, but that will make your answer wrong. VRCs are known to be treacherous for a reason. For example, in one RC passage it will be written as why likes pasta at this restaurant X. Then a question will be asked about why's choice in food. This is a trick question. It's persuading you to choose the universal answer pasta. They have mentioned restaurant X for a reason. You need to find the reason behind that. Tip number 4. Simplify the hard words. Cat exam do not allow you to carry a dictionary and it is humanely impossible for you to become one. So, what do you do when you see a word that you don't understand? 
as per Vishakha, a VRC 100% dialer, the best thing to do is to remove the word from context and see what sense it makes to you. And then compare with options given in the question. Eliminate your options and come to the right answer. Tip number 5. Work on your vocabulary. A sound vocabulary in a comprehension heavy pattern of CAT can be useful. But its benefit can be reaped in other exams like OMETS, SNAP, NMAT and IIFT since they are more vocab heavy. Thinking why should I focus on other exams when I have set my eyes on CAT 2020? Check this video out. You may get your answer to your why. You can increase your vocabulary with free online apps like Magoosh Vocab, Builder, Magoosh Flashcards, VOLT, Baron, etc. Tip number 6. Keep doing sectional and mock tests. Finally, it is really important to keep doing multiple sets and sectionals. Almost all cat toppers find it to be the key of doing well in VRC. I started with practicing a lot of sets, I started with, I then moved on to reading a lot of material. This will help you map your improvements and places you still need to work on. That is it for today guys, hope uh, these tips help you in your prep. What section do we do next? Tell us in the comment section below. You can also check out our Council one-on-one -on -one mentorship and career coaching program. This one-of-a-kind mentorship program that spans over 12 weeks will put you in touch with people from top universities and companies you aspire to be in. Discuss your professional life, career or even the decision to do an MBA. To know more, find the link in the description below.